today we were able to take a few members of the media to see Atlantis up close and as never before, inside and out, if you will. Got to tour Atlantis on the two decks, the, the flight deck and the mid deck, and then also looked outside Atlantis. And it's exciting to think about this because our guests are gonna have a similar experience being able to see Atlantis and almost get close enough to touch the wing when we open the new home for Space Shuttle Atlantis in July of 2013. To see this amazing vehicle that has flown on 33 Space Shuttle missions, whether to the International Space Station or for a Hubble mission or uh, to release a satellite, just an amazing history that comes with this Atlantis Space Shuttle. And, and just being able to be that close it's almost, it is indescribable. At the visitor complex, we are looking forward to November 2nd as Atlantis makes her way from the Vehicle Assembly Building at Kennedy Space Center to her new home at the visitor complex. It's gonna be a very special day filled with activities. We are gonna have displays that talk about the future of space exploration as we salute this and celebrate the space shuttle program. Uh, Sierra Nevada, Boeing, SpaceX, x -Core, and other organizations will have displays at a place called Exploration Park. This is a point where Space Shuttle Atlantis on the way over to the visitor complex is gonna stop and it's gonna be a festival celebration, if you will. You'll be able to see Atlantis in the round as she's atop the orbiter transporter system, uh, which is this really long vehicle with 76 wheels. That's what's transporting the Space Shuttle here. So be able to see Space Shuttle Atlantis 360 degrees around, plus enjoy all of the entertainment speakers, meet Space Shuttle astronauts, and then come back to the visitor complex where Atlantis will make the final leg of her journey to her new home as she comes down the roadways in front of the visitor complex and into the new $100 million facility. I can only pick top five. Top five, but five is a beautiful number, so let's go with that. I love the new home for Space Shuttle Atlantis and Atlantis. The shuttle launch experience. Being able to meet an astronaut who's been there, done that, flown in space. I love the Apollo Saturn V Center, which is a tribute to the Apollo program and tells its story like no one else. And where else can you see a 363-foot rocket like that? And I love the Rocket Garden, where you can take a look at uh, how we built the space program uh, back from the 50s, 60s, and now through today. New at the visitor complex is the Rocket Garden Cafe. Here you can enjoy a scrumptious lunch or a snack, and you're overlooking the Rocket Garden or the children's play dome. It's a casual dining atmosphere, but the food is fantastic, and you can enjoy delicious tomato soup, uh, crisp, cool salads. There's chicken tempura, the Asian noodle salad. There's the uh, wood stove pizzas. Just a great variety of things to eat, and you've got to try the French fries. And I'm going to leave it at that. But I've never had fries like this before. It's special sauce doesn't even begin to describe the taste of those great fries. So it's a, an enjoyable place to take a break, enjoy, and gaze at America's space program. And a great date, mark this one in your calendars for July of 2013, the opening of the new home for Space Shuttle Atlantis.